Hey, what's going on? How was your day? Uh, it was good. How was yours? Oh, it was good. It was just kind of crazy. I blew my girls out today. Yeah. Did you get a chance to take out the trash? Uh, no, I did not. Were you able to order that stuff on Amazon? Is that what I asked you about? Uh, yeah, yeah. Things are just so crazy today at work. Yeah? Yeah. Seems like I finally had a good day last night. Oh, that, that's, uh, that's good. Did you really feed the dog by any chance? No. No, I did not. What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Joe's Tech. If you guys didn't catch it from the intro of the video today, we're gonna be taking a look at a new headset from Corsair, which is the HS50. Uh, something a little bit different about this headset is that uh, this is one of the first console aimed headsets that we've seen from Corsair. So I was pretty excited to take a look when they reached out. Looking inside the box, we do not have too much for accessories and there's not really much that's needed for a console only headset. Uh, you have your headset itself. Of course, there's a detachable mic. There's actually a plug for that detachable mic. Um, and then of course we have the splitter for the 3.5 if you wanted to use these headsets on your PC or another device that has separate audio and mic inputs. So I believe Corsair's main focus in building this headset was to make something that was pretty much affordable but had a premium quality to it. And I know sometimes that's challenging uh, to actually get a product at the end of the day that does have quality, but I can say that this headset kind of does have a lot of the aesthetics and the comforts that you'd expect from a more high-end headset. Uh, for starters, aesthetically, we have that nice custom stitching on the inside of the headband. Uh, then, you know, the subtle Corsair branding and sort of like a, a leather wrap on the outside of that headband as well. Now on the outside of the ear cups, we have these nice metal grills that are actually metal and they kind of conceal all the wires in those speakers and everything. So uh, very, very clean design. Of course, the ear cups themselves have that same memory foam that we saw on the Void Pro headset, which is really nice, especially for long sessions of gaming. The other thing that I really find uh, unique about these, not really unique, but uh, is a great feature is that the ear cups actually fit over your ears rather than, you know, how some headsets actually will hit the top of your ear. And again, that becomes kind of irritable, even when the material is pretty soft, because, you know, over time, they kind of push against that cartilage on your ear and it just gets uncomfortable. So I think that was a big win for them there as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you do get a detachable mic with the headset. So Corsair not only included a volume dial, uh, but they also tucked in a nice uh, mute button for that microphone as well on the same side as the volume adjustment knob. Corsair implemented what they're calling their precision tuned 50 millimeter audio drivers. Uh, and of course I am uh, by no means an audio expert, but what I can say is I did do some testing with gaming of course and music. Those are kind of my two go-tos when it comes to these types of headsets. Uh, and the clarity was, was great. Uh, the quality seemed to be really good. Um, obviously there's not a ton of bass. If that's something you're looking for, then these probably aren't going to have that. Uh, but they're definitely not flat either. So, uh, obviously for a gaming headset, I think the sound that you're getting out of these is great. Now, as far as the microphone goes, of course, uh, it's a little challenging to test because, um, you know, in different platforms, the mic seems to kind of cooperate different differently, but I'll go ahead and see if I can implement a little audio clip here and I'll, I'll capture it off my PC, uh, just so you guys can hear what the mic sounds like. This is a test of the Corsair HS50 headset. This should give you a general idea of what the audio quality is with this headset. I'll go ahead and leave links to everything below if you guys would like to check these headphones out. But of course there is a blue variant which I think is gonna be aimed towards the PlayStation people. Of course there's a green variant for those of you guys who play Xbox. And then of course there is a carbon variant and that one I believe is gonna be for the Switch um, you know, people. But the thing is, uh, they're all going to be coming with the same style connector as far as I know. And of course, I'll leave notes below if for some reason that info is not correct. But uh, I believe they're all actually the same headset. It's just that they're going to be kind of aimed at, you know, specific consoles based off of the design that they come out with. If I had to have one gripe about the headphones, the only thing that really comes to mind, honestly, is the removable rubber grommet for the mic. 
Uh, anybody who uses this headset for more than a day with that mic plugged in is probably going to lose that rubber grommet. Uh, it would have been nice if maybe we saw like a sliding door or something. Um, that way you're not, you know, losing that rubber grommet. Probably not going to use it very often, you know, if the mic's already plugged in. You're probably just going to leave the mic plugged in, but I guess that would have been nice. And of course, like I said, if I had to have a gripe, that's what it would be. I think Corsair has done a really good job at creating a product that has a really premium feel and it doesn't really break the bank. These headphones are priced competitively right at the $49 US mark. Um, I think for that price, they're, you're getting a headset that has a pretty good quality. Um, you have the nice steel construction under the headband and then of course you have all these really cool aesthetics um, that seem like they were really well thought out. So one question that I do have for you guys is if this was to become kind of mainstream for Corsair and they did get into console gaming a little bit more. Would you guys want to see a variant of this in a wireless version and would you pay a premium price for that? Because that's one thing that I think, uh, you know, would be a nice option. Obviously, it seems like Corsair might just be kind of testing the waters with the console headsets. Obviously, they've got killer headsets for PC. Why not tap into that market a little bit? But uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on the way out. Of course, if you have any questions, feedback, concerns, always happy to hear that stuff in the comment section. Uh, and if you guys want to see more tech videos like this in the future, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again to Corsair for sending me this headset to share with you guys. And until next time, guys, this has been Joe's Tech. I'll see you in the next video.